And do you live in a floodplain? Some Indiana lawmakers say chance, chances are you might be just trying to find out, might that be tricky? Why? Those lawmakers say both state and national flood maps are outdated. A Senate bill is looking to put a pause on those maps and find a solution to better track 100-year flood levels. As our Taylor Williams learned, lawmakers say the bill is just a temporary fix. That's not a fix. It's a Band-Aid. I'll be honest with you. Lawmakers are working on a bill that would add an amendment to a current state law. The bill would change how floodplains are mapped in Indiana temporarily. Not doing this could cost tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollars in lost property value. House Representative David Abbott of District 18, which includes Noble County, is one of the lawmakers working on the bill. Federal Emergency Management Agency, otherwise known as FEMA, has always used data to map out floodplains in Indiana. Abbott says those maps are 10 to 40 years old, were produced by outdated technology, and the map only covers a third of the state. He says the Indiana Department of Natural Resources made their own map of the floodplains with the most up-to-date technology and mapped the entire state. However, Abbott says lawmakers are finding that the DNR map isn't entirely accurate either. Both maps are sometimes contradicting each other. They're, they're not accurate from eyewitness uh, accounts by property owners that have lived on properties for several generations. Um, to me, the proof's in the pudding. The map can say what it wants, but if it's even during a 100-year flood, if they've never seen rain or flood waters, then something's not right. Abbott says that a 100-year flood means there is a 1% chance that you'd get a certain amount of rain in a 24-hour period. The data is then used in the maps to show where properties would flood and ultimately where buildings and homes can't be placed. Indiana law requires county floodplain managers to use the DNR mapping to issue building permits. This bill would make using those maps optional, while lawmakers find a better way to map floodplains. We don't want to harm the property owner by what we do. We could actually pass something that would give them an exemption to build and come to find out later FEMA could come in and they do this, they audit and, and say, hey, this house that you just gave a building permit for to build is in a floodplain. So that's not helping the, you know, our, our, our constituents. Taylor Williams, 21 Alive News.